Hello everyone, I'm Dola Ho of Dolly B Crafters. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful egg band facilitator. I'm Dolly B Crafters on Facebook, I'm Dolly B Crafters on Instagram. Please follow me on this my pages. So these are the basic materials we'll be needing for this project. I have my pleated quinoline and you need just a yard, a yard of pleated quinoline. I have my padded headband. I have a video showing how to make a padded headband. Please watch it if you've not seen it yet. Then I have my scissors. I have a matching color of thread. I have my hand needle. I'm using the small needle in this case. And I have my, this net fabric. It's just a leftover from a previous project. I have less than a yard. Then I have Peter Sham ribbon. I have my bead quarter. I have this copper wire of 0.50 mm, 0.50 mm. I have UHU and um, glue gun, so either of those two will actually work. Then I have um, some crystal beads right here. I'll also be needing my office office paints, our measuring tape, okay, and roses like this to embellish with you can always embellish with anything any accessory of choice so if there's any other thing i didn't mention now i'll show you while working so i had my pleated crinoline and um we we now need up to one yard what i have is about exactly one yard here so we now need up to we'll just start with one yard okay so our padded headband this is it and we'll be needing our pins that the first set of materials we'll be needing so we are going to be covering this uh, headband with our pleated crinoline
When you get to the end of the headband, you fold the crinoline in, fold it in before you fold over. Okay, and we're going to stitch. We're going to stitch. It has to be really, really firm and neat. Stitch. Stitch like that. So I'm going to just tack it here and proceed to do the same to the other side. All right, friends. Now I've secured my crinoline to my headband and this is what we have. So the very next step is for us to use our UHU glue. We're going to secure our crinoline to our headband on this part with UHU because you know we use our needle and thread to, to stitch it down there are some parts that may actually be open which your needle and thread may not have or your thread may not have touched so that's why we are using glue to seal the part up so you can just open it up from the under and glue little glue like that going to allow it dry so you're going to allow it dry then you're going to press your crinoline down to it now we have have secured it with glue now the next step is to trim this excess crinoline off I've cut that part, the excess crinoline off, and we're going to seal it again. You can apply glue just to be on the safe side. And the final step of making a crinoline headband like this is to cover this uh, raw part with Peter Sham ribbon. I have some crystal beads here and I'll be using my 0 .0 0 0.50 mm wire and I have my bead cutter. So I have my wire, just make it very long, maybe up to 40 inches and I'm going to cut 30 to 40 inches. I'll just cut, I'll just cut it like that and I'm going to fold this in can you see and twist that will serve as a stopper for us so i'm going to put in my bits from here from this other end i'll put in all my bits i have lesser bits so i'll just be doing something very simple let me just give you the idea i'm going to start by bending the wire this way can you see what you feel will be enough for the size of vine you want to create so i am going to start I, i've folded it like that in so i bring one bead up like this and i'm going to twist just pull and twist like that Okay, so this is what we have. I bring the second bead to it like that. Can you see? And I fold the wire 
this way can you see and I'm going to twist so this wire that we have here we're going to twist we're going to twist over the other wire okay and so I'm just using my eyes to measure what I feel will be enough and I bring the next bead like this I bring the third bead like that can you see and I'm going to fold please just watch what I'm doing I don't know if I'll be able to explain but if you're watching you will understand okay so I'm going to twist I'm going to twist like this I can actually turn it this way can you see and push it up that forms another branch can you see so the reason why we are twisting this over is because we cannot just bring up this bit here and twist this part will be plain you understand so you need to twist this wire onto the main wire to continue that pattern all right so you just and you just twist like that so once you get to the point you've twisted onto you continue with another bead can you see so what you do is you bend this you won't push the bead up here you need to push it where you know you're going to be bending it i mean is that there's that point you're going to be bending it can you see and you're going to twist where you're twisting it to cover all the spots can you see okay so you can just push it this way so this another branch can you see it's just very very easy so this one will be twisted over the main wire like that so you get you twist it up to the point you feel is okay for you to continue with the procedure so I'm right here and I'm going to bend this here can you see and I'm going to twist like that I'm going to turn it this way so that I will have the branch this way the procedure is very very simple and they're easy to follow very very simple and easy it's very easy so I just continue like that bend this over you can use your bent nose or your round nose to press the end of the I mean the other wire or your plier anyone I've pressed the end of the previous wire so I just take it over like this and twist okay just twist this over like that you can see like that like that like that and press the end of the wire so that you have the sharp end so you can always turn the branches whichever way you want you can push it up and you see just push it up like that so this is one I'm going to be creating multiples of this because I'll be using this to embellish my headband so I am through with my vines as you can see 
it all depends on how you want if you want it more than this just increase it if you want to add more bits increase it like that this is my net the measurement is about 12 inches the width is about 6.5 6.5 inches so i'm just going to pleat the middle the center of it like this onto my vines the first one i showed you how to remember the way i ended it the other ones i did i just left it like that straight because i'm going to be fixing this into it like this can you see then i'm going to take it back twist it over like this backwards So I pick the next one like that. And I'm going to twist. I just fix it in here. And twist backwards. Twist over it like that and twist backwards. So I did the same the fourth one. So this is what we have. Now I'm going to place this on my headband. And I'm going to tap.